Hello everyone, Marek Mulacek here and welcome to another video. This time we're going to have a look at a test of performance of uh, Premiere Pro and After Effects on Microsoft Surface Pro 9. You may have seen my other videos where I was testing my previous uh, Surface Pros, so Surface Pro 7 Plus and Surface Pro 6 as well. So we're going to see what kind of performance we can get from the latest one at the moment, <laughs> Surface Pro 9, um, also i7 processor, 16 gigabytes of RAM as well, but we should expect much more because this processor is supposed to have many more cores. So let's find out, let's run for some tests and let's see if there is an improvement and what kind of improvement we can see. And we'll be comparing results between uh, Surface Pro 9 and the previous generations in here as well. So let's get started. Okay, this is test number one. We're going to export this sequence. Uh, we're going to see how long it's going to take. We do a standard export, exporting using MP4, much source adapt adaptive high bit rate. And uh, let's see how long it's going to take to export it on this one. It should take, well, I would say less than half a minute for export. But we're about to find out, because you never know, there could be a number of services running the computer, so it doesn't mean it's going to be uh, quicker. Although te technically, theoretically, it should be much quicker. But it doesn't look like it is. It looks like it's actually going to take longer. <laughs> so maybe I'm going to do another test, another run, and see if it's going to be any faster. <clears throat> this one is taking time. It's actually taking quite a long time on this one. So I'm going when it's finished, I'm going to run another test and I'll show you the results then. I'm running a second test now here, which seems to be faster. <laughs> so we'll see. Maybe not much faster, but it is going to be a bit faster in here. Okay, for this number two, I'm going to render this slow motion section here. Uh, I guess I shouldn't be making them longer because the last one took almost no time. But let's see if this is going to do any quicker. So I'm going to render this into out and let's see. Seems to be stuck at 33%. <laughs> Now it's going there. Wow. Now oh, this is very slow. That's really, really bizarre. It takes a really long time. Probably the longest on the ball. So I think I'm going to run it again. Let's try it again because it's taking forever. So let's try again. Let's render into out. Okay, here's another one in Premiere. Now this could be Premiere 2023. So this time we're going to track a mask in here. This is uh, almost four seconds. We've got a mask in here already. This one here, which we're just going to track, and we're going to measure how long it's going to take to uh, track this mask, starting now. Now that's better. <laughs> that's this was good. Now, now that's some improvement. This was great. Okay. Okay. Now testing in. After Effects, so test number one is uh, Roto Brushing. Uh, we're going to propagate this Roto Brush for five seconds and we'll see how long it's going to take. Shouldn't take too long. So let's find out. Let's see how long is this is going to take in here to propagate. So 
so it's propagating quite quickly. It quite often it takes a little while uh, before it starts, but once it starts, so I'm measuring the timing from the moment it starts, it goes really quickly. I rem if I remember correctly on Surface Pro 6 and 5, it was taking more than a minute. But this one seems to be doing it in about half a minute or about, about it. So it's quite good result so far here. Okay, that's done. Okay, this is another test. This time we're going to do run content aware of the on this content aware fill. We've got a mask here already. So it's going so we're going to see how long it's going to take to render this entire section here. We've got five seconds. So let's generate a fill layer and let's see how long it's going to do. Oh. And we'll see how long it's going to take in here as well. Okay, let's just save it. Okay, it's fine. That's going really quickly. Oh, ho, 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 ho. this was very, very quick. Now this was a great improvement. Okay, here's another test. This time we're going to track this car. We've got a tracker here already, but there are no keyframes. So we've got a tracker. Start from the beginning. And we're going to track the motion. It's five seconds here. Again. Uh, let's see how, going, how long it's going to take here. So we're going to track motion. I'm going to do a new tracker. Why not? So that's the tracker too. We'll put it right on the car here. Like before, which is a good starting point. And let's see. Oh, it goes really quickly, really, really quickly. Ooh, well done. Okay, this is the last test here. In After Effects, this time we're going to render this section in 3D. This took the longest of all the tests. This was the most demanding test in here. So let's see, let's start and let's see how long it's going to take. It took a long time on the older versions, but this one seems to run very quickly. Well, I was expecting a really good result here because also in After Effects 2023 uh, we have multi-frame rendering, so it does render much quick, much more quickly. Okay, so you can see the result in here and. In some, in some respects, uh, Surface Pro 9 is faster, even faster than 7 Plus. Not in every test in here, but there is some improvement. Uh, so it's it's a good machine. Although, you know, in some tests I wish it was faster, but this might be uh, just After Effects or Premiere Pro. It might be this win this version of Windows as well, because there's a number of factors to take in consideration here. But there is some improvement we can see. Okay. Now I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I hope you this will help you if you're trying to make a decision whether you want to switch to Surface Pro 9. And uh, let, let me know if you have any questions. Put in comments in there. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, thank you for watching. I'm Marek Mularczyk from MarekMularczyk.com. And see you soon in another video. Thank you for watching. Bye bye for now.